Hey there. Man. It's late again. And hot. It's 6.38 p.m. That's the late part. It's 92 degrees. That's the hot part. Oh, and there's a, uh, what are they called? Thunderstorm warning. So sometimes between now and 1 a.m., it could rain a lot, which will at least get the temperature down. Uh, I'm actually told the storms are about an hour away, so just enough time for me to talk to you, get it uploaded, and get out of Dodge. Because it's important that I get home in time to watch some tape-delayed Olympics. Here's to you. It is a Wednesday, and you know what that means. It's hump day. Hope you're humping. It's also August 1st, which I forgot at midnight. Every month I have to do the monthly tally of the most popular referred threads. The most preferred? Yes. The threads with the most referrals for the month. And I try to run it right at midnight, and I kind of forgot. I also kind of forgot to put a graphic up. But I fixed all that. So if you go to the w.com, and I know you've been there several times a day already, all that stuff eventually showed up that you expected. One thing that I did not do, I still got to decide if I'm going to do it or not. I'm not sure it's working out. I used to do Amazon's, uh, it was Amazon's 50 for 5. Then it was 100 for 5. This month they have about 1,500 $5 albums. And I don't think me generating that list is going to move a single copy. And it also looks like they've redone the pages so you can't extract the information you want anyway. So you heard it here first. I may be retiring the Amazon MP3 store check. As time goes on and they get settled in and they become more, well, not mainstream, but popular enough that they don't feel they have to do really gimmicky sales, kind of defeats the purpose of me telling you what they are because they're not too special anyway, not worth investing any money in. And really, buying MP3s, that whole concept is kind of... I mean, I pay for all my music, and I go to the iTunes Music Store and Amazon MP3, and always, always... One thing that came out, and it was between weeks, so it didn't make one of my lists, was the uh, soundtrack for the opening ceremonies of the Olympics. By Underworld, yeah! Underworld ran that whole thing, making it a giant rave. Not really, but there was a lot of really good music that played during the Parade of Nations, which of course, oh so hip, Meredith Bure, Matt Lauer, and Bob Costas couldn't identify a single one of them, because their knowledge of music stops at the 70s. You could tell because Meredith Bure was singing. Another wonderful thing about the opening ceremonies. I say this about every two years, about every time I have to watch a Parade of Nations, you would think with our technology, they could give us a SAP channel which would have the background noise, but none of the idiots talking over it. So, for instance, if we wanted to hear the Arctic Monkeys covering a song, rather than Matt and Bob saying, wow, this is a really good cover, isn't it? Yes, let's keep talking over it so no one can hear it. We could click to that channel using our SAP button, because I know you can do more than one. You know, if you need to have a Spanish one, you can still have the Spanish one. But you can also have one that is just the background noise. Why not? I think they even have that option in other countries. Because they rule and America sucks. Not really. America is awesome. But we could make it more awesome. August 1st, a significant day in the Twin Cities because five years ago today, one of our bridges fell down. Yes, the Interstate 35W Bridge. Do you ever wonder why they call it 35W? It's one of those things where you have two cities, and they both have inferiority complexes, so neither one of them wants to be the one that doesn't have I-35 running through it. So we end up with an I-35E and an I-35W. And it doesn't actually stand for East and West. Those are just letters. Similar situation, uh, I believe, in Dallas-Fort Worth. They also have a, a 35E and a 35W. The thing is, they number the exits 
so you still end up knowing which one is the real 35 and which one isn't because it keeps the numbering and the other one has to split off and have its own numbering. Or at least that's how it is here. If you thought about it, you could probably do parallel numbering, but we didn't for whatever reason. So 35W is actually the one that isn't 35. Don't tell anybody, though. We don't want Minnesota to feel, or we don't want Minneapolis to feel inferior to St. Paul. Although, this would be the only respect Minneapolis would ever feel uh, inferior to St. Paul because St. Paul has a very big inferiority complex when it comes to Minneapolis. There's a whole lot of, but the capitals, we're, and it doesn't matter because Minneapolis is pretty cool. Except for the fact that they charge taxes for stadiums that nobody wanted and that the voters had no choice to vote up or down. Other than that, though, I, I almost live right on the Minneapolis-St. Paul border so I can say stuff like that. Because if Minneapolis ever gets really mad at me, I could just walk three blocks and be out of there. Would never happen, though. I mean, I still got to go back home. And that's how it's significant to me. So... 35W bridge collapse was the big deal in 07, and it was all obviously dominating the news here today. Five being a, not a round number, but a pentagonal number. But it seems like there's a lot more coverage on this particular August 1st than there has been in a while, at least since 07. O seven, they of course preempted all the prime time television to show uh, helicopters flying over darkness. No, I mean the pictures were pretty spectacular, but that's kind of how it was uh, for us. We were in the process of finishing up moving. Actually, we had just closed on the house, and we took possession of the house hmm, a week, week and a half earlier. We were living next door actually we were in a duplex we had the top story of a two-story house and we we had been renting it since 04 if I don't finish this I'll die okay the house went up for sale in 07 we bought it in retrospect we would have waited until after the recession when we could have got an even better rate and a probably an even cheaper price but what's done is done. But August 1st, we were trying to officially finish up with our rental, which means get everything out of it and into the house. And the TV wasn't on. We were working. We also didn't have cable. We were still trying to fight with the Comcast to get our stuff switched over. And it's funny because for a while there, I had to keep the wireless connection in the old place, but the Wi-Fi signal was strong enough that I could connect wirelessly from the new place. Ah, hilarious. Anyway, that's why, selfishly, I don't think of it as the day that the 35W bridge collapsed. I think of it as the day we moved into the house. Aw. We ended up stringing rabbit ears to the television so that we could... Uh, take a look at the, at the news coverage of what was going on. It really was quite surreal as it happened, but we only had a couple of people that we were really worried about, and we were able to talk to them right away, so we knew everybody that, we, you know, selfishly, everybody that we cared about. Nobody that we knew was lost that day, so that's one way to look at it. The other way is that 13 people were lost, and they mattered to somebody, and that's kind of sad, but that was also five years ago. So, the other thing is when they built that memorial, this was a big story almost exactly a year ago. They had the memorial almost ready to go, but vandals took some of the cast uh, metal letters, they just ripped them off. And I remember for about a week that was a really exciting thing where we all tried to use our powers of anagram to see if we could figure out if there were any clues to who took the stuff. There was actually a blog set up about it, cracking the I-35 code. Should have said I-35W, but they didn't. 
crackingthei35code.blogspot.com. It had three posts, and then it was immediately forgotten about, except to me right now when I just looked it up. I wonder if my comments... I, I can't remember if I made a comment on there or not. I made a pretty smart-ass comment somewhere. It was on Twitter. I'll have to go back and check. But anyway, I hope you had an eventful August 1st. I actually have not. This has been a pretty slow one. But, you know, that's okay. No bridges collapsed today, so that's a good thing. We'll be back tomorrow. Why not? I'll be back tomorrow, I believe. Don't see why not. Come to think of it, that number's wrong, isn't it? This is 140. I'm already over, so I might as well fix it. Uh, let's see. You go here. You go over here. And you very carefully. Oops. I finally placed the order, by the way. I went on Amazon and I found these, and I found that they were half price. So I bought three more sets so we can spell out all sorts of interesting, fun things. Or I will run out of room as I am want to do. Okay, well, thank God we took care of that. Again, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope my homespun tales kept you entertained. Low these almost 12 minutes. If not, uh, there are at least 100 other links on this page you could have clicked, so you got nobody to blame but yourself, pal. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.